When most people think of cranberries, they think of this. Millions of tiny tart red berries in water, or in your favorite juice glass, or as a complement to a Thanksgiving feast. They probably don't think of cranberries in terms of environmental sustainability. But the truth is, throughout the year, Wisconsin cranberry growers are thinking about sustainability and environmental consciousness. It's a process that starts when cranberry marshes look like this. We also found there's when the critical watering occurs where I don't want to water too much or not enough. Mike Moss with Elm Lake Cranberry Company near Wisconsin Rapids tests the soil his cranberries grow in throughout the spring and summer. Years ago, they used to just sprinkle and it was good enough. Well, now the research and consistency is the name of the game. I have to be able to account for my resources I'm using it in. I need to be able to pass year to year in order to learn. In fact, the system is so sensitive that it can measure tension and pressure in the soil. Then it feeds data back to Mike's house where he can record and analyze it. In my PC gives me hard data that I can get back and look at All this so that Mike knows exactly how much or how little to water his cranberry beds. And that's what a lot of ag environmental projects are all about. The USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service gives funding to the agriculture community for projects like these. Projects that stress conservation and sustainability, benefit the environment, and assist future generations of cranberry growers to produce bountiful crops.